You're going fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. Well, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Uh, sure, no problem. Remember me fondly. You are such a drama queen. Ugh. I can't believe I'm going to leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone left their clipboard out here. Huh. It could have been one of the fish and game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something. I can call it in. What the... Uh, it's... Holy shit. What's going on? You didn't actually find a bear, did you? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry! I'm worried. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Regardless, just let me know, okay, buckaroo? Oh, God. I don't know why I just called you that. Henry? I... Holy hell, I just... I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with... What? Transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone. Along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Um, uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's, it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll, uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God. Damn it, my head. Are you... Are you sure you saw what what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. This just... Oh, this just seems like a, like a misunderstanding or something. There are people listening to our conversations. The person or these people were hiding in the bushes down here. What the fuck, D? I don't know, Henry. This sounds crazy. Yeah, and you're not the one who just saw our words on a clipboard out in in the middle of nowhere. Those words were from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is active, walking talkie, taking notes, and talking to God knows who. Look, I could hike over there and look around, but I won't be able to get through the fence. Well, shit. I could spend all day banging on it and see, I guess. Hey, 
Actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. All right, I'm here. And the gate is locked up, obviously. obviously. I'll see if I can break in somehow. All right. Be careful. Hey, I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Has anything strange been happening on your end? No, nothing really. Nothing really or nothing? Nothing. My door was open the other night, but that's not strange. That doesn't sound like nothing. It's... Nothing, I promise. All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not, okay? Let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. Hey, maybe he'd actually enjoy it. You know, spies, taking notes, walkie-talkies. whole thing might actually be fun if you're too young to realize how creepy it is. That's one way of looking at it. He's fine, Dee. 
It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Whoa, the flapjack fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not going to try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. These guys, Ron and Dave, they're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance that they had anything to do with those girls disappearing? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks, now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Ugh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah? Where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. <laughs> uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. Camp Arapaho. You're there? Yeah, I am. It's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Never sat right with me. Beware of weebelos in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. I wandered into an old scout camp. Gonna look around here first, okay? All right, um, that's the operating area of the hotshot crew who are doing the controlled burn. 
Keep me in the loop, okay? Sure thing. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. You ever talked to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. I mean, he, he wasn't a scout or a weeble or whatever? <laughs> I got the sense that boy could barely tie his shoes, let alone a clove hitch. What the hell's a clove hitch? Ah, well, it's a knot that you are probably too old and too stubborn to learn. You use it to make rafts and shelters and stuff like that. Huh. You know how to tie one? Heck no. I'd make a weeble do it. There are bear traps out here, in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. Uh, I found an axe. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. It looks like an axe to me. This thing will be a huge help. For both getting through the backcountry and getting through that fence. Hey, Dee, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Hmm. Huh. Uh, next few days... Dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know. Stop there. Let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Oh, you know, probably just horned toads. And a Wapiti Station clipboard with our conversations on it is just... What, recreation for them? I'm just messing around. Somebody is obviously up to something. I'm freaking out here. At least we know there is something real happening behind the fence. You should consider that maybe this is all just a coincidence, but my gut says that there is something bad going on. Mine too. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and... Keep an eye out for anyone following you. Are you there? I, I had a thought. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <coughs> Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like another lookout, could be on this line, is there? Not without tapping our radios. Get in your tower, shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. <laughs> 